Hello everyone, welcome back to the Aspen Tech channel and in our today's problem statement we will be solving or we will be producing a flow sheet to produce thiol chloride from ethylene and hydrogen chloride. So this is the overall process flow sheet to produce ethyl chloride and it starts from this stream number one which is the feed stream which contains mainly ethylene and HCl with small traces of nitrogen. Then it is sent to this conversion reactor. We are assuming a conversion reactor to make it simpler. However, once we talk about its rigorous kinetics, then obviously we have to use PFR or CSTR type reactors. The vapor from this reactor is compressed to a high pressure. Obviously, in that regard, the temperature also increases, which is cooled down and is then sent to this separator. And as a result of separation, the streams number 7 and 8 are produced. The 7 number stream is sent to this distillation column. This number 10 streams contain pure ethyl chloride while the number 9 and number 8 streams are mixed. Then they are split. Part of it is purged while the remaining part is recycled. How it is recycled? By first passing through a valve, the pressure is let down, then is heated to that of the temperature as that of the feed temperature and is then recycled back. The mixer is initially installed to ensure that once you do the recycling process, there is no significant abruption or abnormality in the process. So this is the overall schematic of ethyl chloride production and we will be solving this in Aspen Heises. For this, we will be selecting the fluid package as Peng Robinson. Then the reactor specification, obviously I have already told you it's a conversion reactor. And in this conversion reactor, ethylene reacts with HCl to produce ethyl chloride. And the base component will be ethylene whose 90% conversion is required. We will be using Q heat for this conversion reactor and the temperature at the outlet or the temperature of the products will not be more than 25 degrees centigrade. Then distillation column specification, total number of stages are 7, feed stage is 4, no pressure drop, reflux ratio of 2 and percentage composition of ethyl chloride is 99% in bottoms. So after going through all this process, let's go to the Aspen Heises, build a simulation flow sheet without recycle first and converge it simultaneously as well. So first we will add the components. The components are ethylene and we can say ethene because we are searching with full name synonym. Ethylene, ethene, then HCl, nitrogen, and ethyl chloride. So C2H5Cl, it's nomenclature. Then in fluid package, click on add and select Peng Robinson as the thermodynamic property package since reaction set is involved. So let's add the reactions over here, add, add reaction, conversion reaction, adding over here, then giving the required information, ethylene reacts with HCl to form ethyl chloride the stoichiometric coefficient for ethylene and HCl will be minus 1 while for ethyl chloride it will be 1. The base component is ethylene, reaction phase is overall and the conversion for ethylene should be 90%. And then adding to fluid package, add set to fluid package. Then going to the simulation environment and we will simulate it step by step. How we will simulate it step by step? That first we need to connect a material stream over here, then a mixer over here and we will connect it and it will be like labeled as mixer number one is this feed stream number two will be the outlet stream and we will give it specifications as we have given 25 degree centigrade one atm 100 kg mole per hour and the molar composition as 0.48 for ethylene 0.5 for hcl and 0 0.02 for nitrogen once after doing it and aligning it a bit the next one is the conversion reactor so in reactor this one is the conversion reactor. We will click it. We will paste it over here. And then the two is inlet stream, three vapor outlet, four liquid outlet. And in the condition we have been given that Q heat needs to be added as well. Then after that, specify the reaction set of conversion. Unknown duty. Why? Because we have added a duty. So specifying it as 25 degrees centigrade and accordingly the heat is calculated because it's an exothermic reaction. So we are extracting the heat out of it. And we are saying that the products are at the same temperature as that of the feed. So the vapor stream is produced, which contains the flow rate. There is no flow rate in the liquid stream. After that, and if we reduce its size a bit, 
to ensure that all of the streams are here connected as well and quickly labeling its name as reactor after that it is compressed so applying the compressor over here and it is k100 we have been given that the number three streams goes to here five is the outlet stream let's say it is q102 and in the worksheet it is 2100 kilopascal as we have been given in the problem statement and instead of specifying it as q heat i will specify it as q100 then it is passed through this cooler and again in the cooler we're doing it quickly five is the inlet six is the outlet and its energy is Q101 because we have labeled energy as Q101, Q100 and then work as Q102. So accordingly no pressure drop 2100 kilopascal and 20 degree centigrade. We can also specify the pressure over here as well that's simply giving zero over here. So one of the thing to do like that. Then and quickly naming it as cooler then passing it through this separator and in the separator you can see separator 6 its inlet 8 its vapor outlet and 7 its liquid outlet so you can see it is divided into two parts liquid and vapor now extend it a bit and seventh stream as we have seen in the our flow sheet it goes to the distillation column so in separators here is the distillation column which is placed over here 7 will be its inlet so labeling it as column 7 entered this column the number of stages are seven feed stage is four this one will label it as q103 this one as q104 full reflux has been given and this one is nine and bottom liquid outlet this one is 10. then going to next next 2100 kilopascal and 2100 kilopascal because no pressure drop is assumed here then this optional and the reflux ratio selected is two click on done and now since if we go to this monitor tab we have specified only one specification however we have been given the second specification that percentage purity in the bottoms is 99 percent of ethyl chloride so what we need to do we need to untick it and we have to add a specification column component fraction and it's a stream it's bottom stream which is labeled as 10 mole fraction 0.99 of ethyl chloride clc2 and now click on run and the column has converged and if we go to this worksheet as you can see the bottom stream contains 99 percent of ethyl chloride while in other cases which is the second stream 38.67 percent ethylene hcl 54.66 percent and nitrogen remaining quantity so once after doing it we need to combine this nine and eight and we have to install a mixer over here which will be the mixer number two for the system and it will be like number eight and number nine to produce number 11 and this will be as mixer two after that we need to split into two fractions and part of it will be purged as we have seen in our problem statement and the diagram as well so click here this one is the split and number 11 is split into two fractions number 13 and number 12 12 is the purge stream while 13 will be the recycled and the per stream split fraction or flow ratio is 0 0.01 so this is the overall schematic of the process when you have not recycled the number 13 stream but once you recycle the number 13 stream then it will be a different phase altogether so this is the first part of our video where we have done the without recycling part now we will add a recycle over here this recycle is placed over here and we will move to the other part over here like clicking and connecting 13 is connected to here this out is 14 so this one is connected like this then it is passed through the valve this valve is placed over here and rotating this valve to ensure that there is no problem with it once we have done the connections so 14 is connected the outlet is 15 and the pressure drop or the outlet pressure is 180 m as given in the problem so this one is modified as well and we can name it as the valve then after that we have to select a heater to heat or to increase its temperature to the feed temperature which is 25 degrees centigrade so 15 its inlet 16 its outlet this one is q105 delta p is 0 we can sp simply specify over here or or here as well but again it's up to us and 25 its 
outlet and again rotating it to ensure that the proper connections are made and last thing that we will connect this 16 with mixer but before doing that let's relabel it as heater and then opening the mixer and entering the stream number 16 over here and once 16 is placed over here there is a warning that recycle rcy1 reached iterations limit without converging so what we need to do we need to simply go here in recycle and we need to continue it to increase its number of iterations so once after the limit further four iterations are required to converge it and now you can see the system is or the process is converged and fully converged the only issue remains with the internal so we can further refine it that we can design the internal system for it but if we ignore this parameter of sizing or designing an internals then this is the overall schematic of ethyl chloride production and if we click on it now you can see there will be definitely a change in a composition over here this was was earlier if you remember around 55.6 it's now 90.68 so that has obviously changed in the system due to the recycling procedure you can also look at this heat duties again the compression duty the cooler duties the heater duties before recycling and after recycling to observe the actual time process change due to this recycling phenomenon hello everyone welcome back to the Aspen Tech channel and in our today's video we will be simulating the ethyl chloride production using Aspen plus so at first we will add the components and what are these components c2 h4 which is ethylene HCl which is hydrogen chloride, C2H5Cl, ethyl chloride, and two nitrogen. And we can say it as E, we can label it as H, we can label it as E C, and this one is N. Nomenclature is obviously up to you as we have discussed various time before. And then clicking on next, selecting property packages Pangrobinson, click on next, and then run this. And once results are available, go to the simulation environment. We will first draw the flow sheet or we can simply attach one equipment one by one and simulate it. So first it's a mixer, which is mixer one in our case. And there are two feed streams. But for now, we will attach only one feed stream and that is the product stream. And we will simply control A, control B to align it. Now specify feed and that is 25 degrees centigrade, two bar, 1000 kg mole per hour and mole fraction is 0.4 for ethylene, 0.5 for hydrogen chloride, 0 for EC, which is ethylene chloride, and 0 0.02 for nitrogen, and total mole fraction is 1. And obviously, this V1 is solved. Obviously, then click on this reactors, stoichiometric reactor B2, and again connecting it of reactants and products, and again control A, control B. And what are the specifications? 25 degrees centigrade with a pressure drop of 0.1 bar. Then in the reactions, click on this new and the reaction is that ethylene reacts with hydrogen chloride to produce ethylene chloride. And the coefficient for reactants is minus 1 as converted and 0.9 of ethylene in the process. Then after specifying these two, we need a compressor in the system. So this is a compressor and it has been attached over here and again doing the connections and now giving the outlet pressure of isentropic pressure as 21 bar as we have been given in the problem statement and we know the block for heater and cooler is same in Aspen plus while it is different in Aspen Isis. So again doing the connections over here and in the same way and this one is 20 degree centigrade with a pressure drop of 0.1 bar then the separator in the system and this F Flash 2 will be used as a separator for the process and it will be connected here. This one is the top product. This one is the bottom product in the system and the conditions are same as that of the cooler outlet. So 20 degree centigrade and zero bar and that zero means that no pressure drop in the system. And after that, this F7 will go to this distillation column, which is red frac in our process main distillation column and the outlets are full reflux in case of S1 Hysis and partial vapor in case of Aspen plus and then clicking on this and total number of stages are seven condenser type is partial vapor rest will remain the same distillate rate temporary we will assume 100 k mole per hour the flux ratio of one as it has been given in the problem statement obviously we need to vary that operating specification of distillate rate because it is not given as fixed we need 99.9 percent .9 purity of ethyl chloride in the system so clicking on the stream there are four number of stages the pressure 
if we specify as stage number one as 19 bar it means throughout the column it will be 19 bar unless we specify any pressure drop here so this has been converged as well then clicking on this mixer which is mixer number two in the process and connecting f6 and f8 to it and if we align it like this which is f8 and f6 in the process and the outlet is obviously f9 and again it is solved then clicking on the splitter and now it will be converted into two fractions and that is one of them which is f11 is per stream while the remaining the second stream will be the recycle stream so click here f11 is 0.1 means 10 percent of amount is purged while remaining will be recycled next one is the valve and we click on this valve and connecting the inlets and outlet to it and accordingly valve outlet is 2.5 bar then the heater connection will be given over here and in exchangers this one is the heater and clicking on it rotate icon flip horizontal to ensure proper connections click here and then click here and accordingly again aligning it and the outlet conditions are same as that of the feed that is 25 degree centigrade and 2 bar so for now this process or the overall schematic if you look at it is completed without recycle so we can simply click on this run button and we can see if there is any error in the process so the results are available we can force the time check what is the percentage purity of f9 if it is 99.9 percent .9 pure ethyl chloride or not so in f9 it is 97.12 percent of ethyl chloride so it means we can apply operating spec over here before going to the recycle so going to this design specification click on this new and in this mole purity of 0.999 components of ethyl chloride and feed product f9 and vary obviously we cannot vary the flux ratio because it is fixed in the process so what we can vary we can vary the distillate rate so let's assume it is 100 to somewhat about 600 kmol per hour so reset it and again run it to see what is the trend is given condition is achieved or not so it is achieved and for verification we can go to the stream results and we can see again that in f9 it is now 99.9 percent .9 pure ethyl chloride in the system so now what we need to do after applying this design spec we need to simply go here and what we need to do we need to connect this f14 with this mixer and now we need to again you can reset it and now you can see the results are available after connecting this recycle stream and it means that the process is overall converged obviously you can see the effect of this recycle on the duties of the system obviously once you have recycled the compressor duty would have increased the cooler duty would have increased and obviously the heater duties would have been increased in the process and accordingly the manipulations would have been carried out but recycling the process obviously increases the efficiency of the system so that's how the ethyl chloride process is simulated using s plus that's it from this lecture thank you so much please do watch like share the video and subscribe to the channel also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel till then it's goodbye stay tuned for more videos